Hello my friends and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you step by step how to make professional videos like this on a budget. First, I have to thank you for watching, liking and commenting on my videos. It really means a lot. Few months ago, I got a job to help my friend to make videos of jewelry. I wanted something that looks great, but it doesn't require thousands of dollars. This is what I use. Nikon D5300 because it's cheap and have full HD 60fps video recording. You can get it from $250 to $300. Macro lens is a must, but you, it, you could get away with a kit lens if your budget is really tight. I use a 70mm Sigma Macro. Light box that I use is deep brand, but you can use any light box. It really doesn't matter. It will be about $50. Additional LED strips. The more the better. I use five, two big ones that came with a light box and three smaller ones. Those will be about five to ten dollars each. Or you can build it yourself from LED strips. It's really up to you. And lastly, turntable to spin your products. That will be about fifteen to thirty dollars. And software which is free, DaVinci Resolve, Digicam Control and Krita. Links for the software will be under the video and video description. Now let's get to the fun part. All right, here in Digicam control software you can see the main screen and uh, all these settings. To get exactly like this video, like this ring that I, that I shot before, you have to have a manual mode on your camera. You have to have ISO 100, shutter speed 400, aperture at 14, because uh, we want in focus as much as possible, and uh, white balance custom, and and uh, rest of this it doesn't matter. Now, uh, if uh, something is too dark, then uh, you can increase the ISO or decrease because we will shot in live view I will show you here if you if you shoot in live view then uh, you cannot change the shutter speed anymore you need to close it and then go here in the main view and then ch uh, change the shutter speed but in live view you can change the ISO so if it's too dark then it just uh, increase the ISO and that's it noise will not show because I tested already and uh, on a Nikon 5300 I saw uh, 800 even 1000 is uh, completely acceptable when I'm shooting I take three shots I take uh, at ISO 100, I take it one, uh, ISO 200 and uh, sometimes 400 or, or even higher. And uh, this is the easy uh, workaround without any loss of quality. Once you're done recording, open your DaVinci Resolve and start editing. Alright, once you open DaVinci Resolve, take your video file, drag on the timeline and uh, click play to see how it look how it looks my ring looks fine exposure is fine background is a little blurry how I want it and now I go inside the fusion click on arrange tools to the grid like this and uh, drag a little bit media in and I will go inside the templates in the tools and uh, diamond sparkle glow number two 
because I made it already I don't need to do anything and uh, as you can see I have already glow and uh, sparkles now how to do it how to do this I will ungroup to show you what is exactly going on here this much with this background I don't need I made it just to to have it here to connect something but right now I don't need it this ellipse here will hide all around outside of the circle so if you have some junk around this ellipse will hide it you can see uh, bottom of the ring it's uh, disappeared and uh, make the ring pop and then uh, go inside this glow this is the main glow of the ring this will uh, shine the whole ring and make uh, some nice glow dreamy glow that I really like uh, this brightness you can adjust to make the desired effect color of of course you can you can adjust this color but I will keep it at white and then these two are for this, uh, these small stars uh, as you can see here in the horizontal and vertical ratio one is uh, on the one and one is on the zero minus one uh, I don't like the intensity so I will bump a little bit to 0 0.85 and the other one 0 0.85 this is done and now I will go and edit and uh, I can see sparkles but uh, everything looks okay but uh, this ring doesn't have uh, a lot of colors because of this we will go inside the color bump the saturation all the way to 100 as you can see now uh, all the colors are showed blue green purple red it's and uh, it really really looks nice then uh, take this lift and we will take it down a little bit 0 0.02 or something yeah, something like this and then uh, adjust this offset to the blue side so the ring doesn't have this uh, red or pink color and then go inside the edit again to see how it looks and really really I really like this it looks amazing and this is basically it now you can cut make some effects and this is it if you like this video give it a like give a dislike if you didn't follow me on social media comment under the video if you have any questions and I will see you in another video bye